So one of my very favorite things to do in interviews is ask people this question, ready? What is the output of this program? Wait, I'll do it, I'll do it. But if I do it here, it's gonna kind of ruin it. But that's okay, I'll do it anyway. Oh wow, look at all these errors. Come on guys, get it together. Okay, uh, console.log, uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna put something that's a, that's a, a syntax error, because I don't want it to ruin it, because it will ruin it. Two, does someone know where I'm going? Oops, 0 0.3. So if I took out that A, I took, put the A in there because it would show you with the Chrome, you know, they try to get fancy. But if I took out the A, what is the output of this program? False. Okay, why is it false? Because, see, we have this, but why is it false? But why, why does floating point, why does that mean that it's false? Because it's floating point, what does that mean? Um, it's, it's equal to false, okay? And it's for a really, actually kind of simple reason. It's because in binary, there are some numbers that are not representable. I can give you a number that's not representable in decimal really easily. Are you ready? The quantity one third. We have no way to write that in decimal, right? But if we were Babylonian, I think it was, the, maybe it wasn't the Babylonians, but I'm gonna look like a fool if I'm wrong on that. The Babylonians had a base 12 number system. And do you, can somebody tell me what, what the quantity one third would be in base 12? One over four. Huh? Well, kind of, well, I mean one over, yeah, one over four, but in, not without fractions. 0 0.4. 0 0.4. The quantity one third in base 12 number system is 0 0.4, right? Makes sense. So they have no problem writing it. It's the same thing. So the, the, the stinker here is the 0 0.1 part. Like that looks like it works, right? But you see the dirty, the dirty details when you do that. That's a, that's a three, 15 zeros, I counted one day, many years ago, and a four. It's because the quantity one-tenth is not representable in binary because it's in, in units of two, right? Hopefully that makes some sense, okay. I just like to add that this is right. I mean, if you know what precision you're going to go, so actually this has been long solved. If you know in advance that like we're doing money, well, has anybody been in this situation? You know what you do if you're doing money conversion, you multiply it by a hundred, you do all your shit and then you divide by a hundred at the end and it like pretty much is good. You, you get into a trouble if you divide by a hundred and you get that, but then you just chop off the, the rest let the lawyers, I worked at a company that had like many hundreds of thousands of uh, dollars per day being invoiced. And they're like, ah, rounding error. And I showed them like, but it could be as much as $80,000 per year. And they were like, that's the bottom of office space. Yeah, the of office space. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, okay. All right, so here we are. Uh, we're gonna talk real quick about equality checks for NAND. So I love that there's a thing, there's a, there's a passive aggressive bit at the bottom, I won't show you yet. Uh, we'll get to it. So what this is saying is that anything compared to NAN is false. Even NAN itself. And I know there's that, what's the talk where people show all the stupid stuff in JavaScript and like to show this? I like to show that example that I started with was 0 0.1 plus 0 0.2. Guess how it works in C. Would somebody like to guess? There's a mic somewhere. Where is it? How does it work in C? What if you did 0 0.1 plus 0 0.2 double equals 0 0.3 in, in C, the, whole, the holy programming language? What do you think it does? It works. No, it's false. And it's false because here's the passive aggressive part. They say here, uh, since any language, this isn't really a JavaScript specific problem, since any language that contains IEEE 754 floats has the same behavior. So IEEE is, well, I don't even know what it is, international something, something. Electrical engine, you think? Something, Something. okay. The, the standards people, yeah. So <laughs> there's, a, there's a spec for implementing floating point numbers in programming languages and probably other things other than programming languages. And part of the spec is nothing is equal to NAN. But that means that in TypeScript, if you write code uh, like this, this is, we're getting to the end of the talk here. It's a long one. If you write code like this, it's definitely like you don't understand something because there's no point to making an equality check to NAN ever because it will always be false. 
if you're doing equals. If you're doing an inequality check, it will always be true. So chances are, if uh, somebody does a check like this in their code, they misunderstand what's really gonna happen. And then they're gonna, they're gonna get to production and find out that like, whoopsie doopsie, doesn't work. There is a workaround for this. You may have seen before, there's an ESLint error that catches this prior to TypeScript implementing it. And it's, uh, you can, the solution is to use number.isNan. Uh, number.isNan is implemented with, uh, like, if, here, watch this. If I say, uh, okay, uh, the, oops, dot log number.isNan, is it with a capital N? I never remember. No? Numer. Numer. Oh, yes. Number. No. <laughs> okay, okay. We'll get there eventually. Oh, undefined. Okay, it is a capital N. Native code. Okay, so what, what does that mean? Well, generally it means you can't write it. You could not, if I asked you to re-implement number.isNan, you can't because there's no way in the, in the language to actually check whether something is NAN other than using number.isNan. And so it had to be implemented with native code. That is prior to this day, the only way, and that remains. I mean, there's nothing that changed about the, like how you should write your code. It's just that TypeScript will now catch a way that you shouldn't write your code. And you can turn off that ESLint rule that caught it in the past and all of your performance will be pushed into the TypeScript compiler. And then someday when somebody rewrites it in Rust, then it will become very fast. So that's really the progression here. We're, we're just on phase two. Phase one was ESLint. Phase two is TypeScript. You know what I mean? Okay, any questions? Is that breaking standards? What standards do you mean? IEEE 754? No, not at all. So the stand part of the spec is that nothing is equal to NAN. Anything you, you, you compare to NAN will be false. That's the spec. And so JavaScript implements the spec, so JavaScript follows that behavior. And people go like, oh, you know, there's, I don't know, it breaks, is it associativity, transitivity? There's some math rule. I remember in fifth grade, Miss Demlo, don't be angry. I don't remember which, what it's called. But it breaks, it breaks a, a like mathematical construct that like A equals B, if, if A equals B and C equals B, then A must equal C. Well, that's not how it works with NAN, right? Yeah, just, just to add some color commentary, NAN is the, a low level way to represent that like your computation failed. And it's just, hey, you know, or I, I think division by zero, you actually end up with infinity sometimes, not NAN. Hmm. We can try. Or maybe you do get NAN. But, but yeah, it's basically like something went wrong. And so the fact that it's not equal to something is, is okay. You're like outside the In, system. Infinitas. There is a way if you do like one divided by, you, you know, like USA. <laughs> yeah, so what, kind of on that point, like I w so the type of NAN is number. I wish it had its own separate type because like if you do like parse int and you pass something in and it's like a string <laughs> and it's string, then it's going to give you like it could give you number or it could give you NAN. I wish there was something that forced me to check to see whether or not, you know, it is NAN um, because mm. I could have code that relies on it being like just a normal number. And then NAN makes us all the way all the way down there because nothing is telling me to check for it. I agree with you that I would say this is a language bug. That, well, come on. Oh, stupid thing. Um, Do you have I would agree with you. On? It's, it's probably ad block. What is it? Do you have ad block on? Or some sort of ad blocker? Oh, it is? It's an ad blocker? Okay. Well, that's, if that's the price I have to pay, <laughs> <laughs> it's worth it. Uh, yeah, that's, that's kind of that's silly. It's right there in the name that it's not a number. And then, yeah. Well, but that's like, uh, you guys know like, this one type of null? You know what it says? Object. Yeah, that's, that's like a fun one. I think there are a few of these lurking in the language. What is type? Um, see, you can't say these kinds of things to me and yeah, like that's a little, I guess that sort of makes sense. Uh, wait, no, that's the constructor. Wait, 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 wait. That one totally makes sense. Symbol. Okay. Okay. There's, there's another one. There's a third. So uh, speaking of JS, what could you type, uh, the string B plus the string A plus, and then another plus, and then A and then plus. And then, well, they get to put spaces between the operators and A, and then plus A. Is this going to say boobs? 
and run that. Uh, oh, just put a space between the, the pluses. All right, all right. Two in a row. All of them or just the? Just, the, just those two in a row. Banana. Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know what's funny is I've seen this before where you like totally got me. I had no idea what this was going to produce. Oh, yeah, because it's saying, uh, let's see, A plus, is it saying ink? Yeah, yeah, so if you say A, if you do that, wait, what well, is the? No, so it's doing B plus A and it's concatenating them, and then I think the plus plus is trying, plus space plus I think is like maybe coercing it, the stuff to the right to a number for some reason. Oh, wait, wait, what if I do, okay, so the, the other question would be like, what if I say, if I do that? Yeah, that's the thing. So, so. It's a bitwise. It's a bitwise. Ooh. Yeah. It's like shifting it. That's what I thought was going to happen when you said plus plus. I'm like, ah, or I know what's going to happen, but I definitely didn't know what was going to happen. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, cool. That was fun. Any other ones? All right. Thank you very much.